Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Amber and I make videos all about lifestyle and living in London. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But today we are talking about my 2021 resolutions, which I'm actually so excited for. I love making resolutions in the new year, writing down my goals and aims for the year that's coming, I think is so exciting. I know a lot of people don't really believe in it or don't think that you need to wait till the new year, which you totally don't, but I just think it's a really nice excuse to reflect on the year that's been and just think about things you want to improve on or things you could maybe do better or things you just want to do differently. I will say reflecting on 2020 was really hard, honestly. There were a lot of goals that I'd written at the start of 2020, which just did not happen. I wanted to save £2,000. I wanted to go on, go on a girls trip to Europe. I wanted to start my graduate job. All of these things that were just so reliant on external factors, which obviously because of the pandemic just couldn't happen this year. So my goals look a lot different this year. They're definitely more internal, definitely more, I don't know, personality or mindfulness based compared to big grand goals and objectives I guess that I had before but it's just something that I never had to think about before I never took it into account so this year my goals definitely look different and it actually meant that writing my goals was harder I had to go to Pinterest I made a mood board and I just kind of extracted my goals from there which was actually really helpful because before I could just like jot them down because I have obviously like so many things I want to achieve so I would just write those down but now I'm thinking actually is that possible in 2021 you know it was a weird headspace to be in but without further ado let's go on to my 2021 resolution so my first one you might find a little bit odd but it's to be kind to strangers now i'm not saying i'm a horrible person and i go around yelling at people or swearing or any of this but i just find myself to be quite guarded with strangers i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because I'm a young girl and I've just been brought up to be like oh stranger danger like beware of people trying to shove you in a van and all of those kind of things which obviously is true but I think it's made me very wary like if someone comes and stands next to me at a bus stop I'm not saying anything to that person I used to be a person that if I would walk past someone in the street I would say hello because that's just kind of what we do where I'm from in Bournemouth it's quite a small town and people are quite friendly there but obviously living in London for four plus years now that's kind of been taken away from me a little bit like I don't really speak to any strangers and I'm very quick to end the conversation and walk away from a stranger which is not very nice so I just want to be I guess a bit more open-minded a bit more accepting and a bit more forthcoming I want to be the person that like says hello first and smiles first and just maybe that would brighten someone else's day that stranger could be having a really crap day and maybe me being nice to them might lift their spirits even just for a small second so that is something I really want to emphasize in 2021 being kind or being kinder to strangers I guess my next goal is a goal I think I had in 2019 maybe and it's to read a book a month I smashed this whenever I did it 2019 I think absolutely smashed it this year I'm hoping to do the same I've already started my first book and I want to read at least 12 I'm thinking it's very doable but for some reason I just fall off the bandwagon. I think it's because we now have a TV in our room so I can just pop on Netflix, sit there for three hours and not have a care in the world whereas before, before I went to bed I would always read for like one or two hours and it just meant I got through books so quickly. I also went on holidays in 2019 which is where I do a lot of my reading. Don't know if that will be happening this year but I really want to make reading a priority. I think it's just so fun to live in another world. I want to read some self-care and self-help books just because I find those really interesting to like challenge a way of thinking and I feel like my vocabulary. Is that, did I say that wrong? Did I just say vocabulary wrong? Vocabulary. I don't know the words sound weird. Why can't I talk? Oh see this is what I mean. I think my speaking, the words I use, are far greater and expanded when I'm reading. I think that was just proof of that, that I need to pick up a book ASAP, but I'm hoping to read a book a month. I'm also going to try and drink one litre of water a day. I know you're supposed to drink way more than that, but I'm one of those people, I don't know if I'm like a camel or something, I can go days without drinking a sip of water. Tea and coffee, don't get me wrong, have to have at least one cup of those a day. Water, not so much. I've already started on this goal. I bought myself a really cute bottle and I'm taking it with me literally wherever I go. And I have been drinking far, far more water than I ever have before. But I think it's just a really simple thing 
you have complete control over it's very easy to do and it's going to improve like your sleep your skin your digestion your energy levels like it's so dumb that i don't already do it but it's just never been a priority for me so something i'm going to concentrate on in 2021 is drinking more water <laughs> another priority of mine is going to be working out now i haven't written this goal it's in like work out three times a week because i don't know what my weeks are going to look like next year i don't know what my mental state's going to be like and i i'm one of those people if i don't achieve a goal i'm like oh didn't do it let's just forget about it like i won't be like oh i'll try again next week i'm very i don't know what it is i'm a high achiever so if i don't achieve something it really like injures my ego for some reason which again is probably a toxic trait i should be working on but making working out a priority i think is a good way to word it because i think it emphasizes that it's a shift in my mindset it's not just oh ticking that box i did three workouts this week it's me reevaluating how i prioritize the things in my life making time for working out and making that a key factor in my daily routine my weekly routine rather than just like I said like just crossing it off a list so yeah hopefully i can really emphasize that my thought process around working out has already changed like i used to just do it because i was like if i work out i'll be skinny if i work out i'll have a flat stomach but i kind of realized i don't know if this is getting too deep or going on a tangent but people aren't gonna like me more if i have a flat stomach people aren't gonna remember me for being skinnier. Like people are gonna remember me for being fun and being energetic and being goofy and being honest with people and being vulnerable and everything like that. Or like when I'm in like friend situations or like with my boyfriend and things. So yeah, my mentality has completely changed, which I think has really helped. And I've already worked out like three or four times since Christmas. So I think the proof is in the pudding. We'll see how it goes, but I just think before my thought process around working out was kind of toxic and now I kind of just do it because I do feel better after I've done it. I feel like I've achieved something in the day, which like I said, kind of a big thing for me. I feel like I've achieved something in the day and I just feel better for it. So hopefully that keeps going. Who knows what next year is going to be like, but working out is definitely going to be a priority of mine. The next one is really fun and it's to try one new recipe a week. I've already started saving recipes on Pinterest. I'm going to make a new recipe every Thursday just because me and Christian eat like crap. To be honest, we just, we kind of eat to survive. We don't eat because it's fun and we like to nourish our bodies with good food and try new things and all of this. Like we eat to survive literally. I quite happily have baked beans for dinner. Like there's not a worry for me, but that also means my cooking skills are next to none. Let me tell you that right now. So I'm really hoping by trying a new recipe a week, I'll start adding things to my repertoire if you like, if they're good, I can start like learning new skills whilst I'm cooking. I can try different flavors, different styles of food that I've never tried before. And it will just be something that I can enjoy, a bit of me time doing some cooking, some experimentation, and hopefully something that will just build my skill set in cooking and mean that I'm better at cooking, you know, for like my family, if I ever have friends over and things like that, I'll just be better prepared than like putting beans in the microwave. My last resolution, which I actually got, I think from Kristen Johns or maybe Jason Marie, but is to do five dedicated minutes of tidying up a day. I don't know why that took me so long to say, five minutes of dedicated tidying up a day just because I tend to leave all my cleaning and I do it in like a really big swoop on the weekend and it just takes up such a long time I feel so bogged down by it because there's so much stuff whereas if I just spent five minutes like before I go to bed oh room's a little bit messy I'll just spend five minutes picking up what I can putting it away and in those five minutes I'll do as much as I can and if it's not that much it's not that much if I tidy everything I tidy everything and I just think it's going to put me in a way better position for the weekend I'll be so set up I'll have to spend less time tidying up which will be great and I just think it will be nice to come home after work to a slightly cleaner house we'll see how that one goes but that is the plan for now so they are all my resolutions for 2021 I do have a few things that I have also written down just to focus on in 2021 I guess another shift in my mindset just things that I want to be mindful of so the first thing i want to focus on in 2021 is taking more leaps of faith i think i am a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to things like that like i like my comfort zone i like my little bubble i live in so it th means when opportunities are presented to me or 
chances to do something that I wouldn't have done otherwise come I don't tend to reach for them or grab them I tend to just like sit back and let someone else have it but you don't gain anything from doing that you don't like learn anything from doing that so I'm hoping to take more leaps of faith there's definitely one coming which we'll see hopefully sometime in February I've said it now so we'll see how that goes just want to be a little bit more brave in 2021 and try some new things my next mentality shift I guess is to seek out adventure this kind of goes into the same thing like I like my comfort zone I like my house I like staying here but I find like Christian will quite often ask me like oh do you want to go down to the shops do you want to go to the skate park do you want to go here blah 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 and they're just small little things that happen around the corner from me but I'm quite often just like no I'd rather just stay in bed no I'd rather just sit on the sofa but where's the fun in that like going to the shops yes it's very boring but you could make it such an adventure you could take a different route you could take a different mode of transport you could try buy some new things whilst you're there just so many things that I think the mundane can be made, made fun in a lot of different ways so I really want to try that in 2021 like I said I want to be silly I want to be goofy and I want to have fun and I just feel like that hasn't really been a priority for me in 2020 obviously 2020 is a bit of a write-off so I don't really mind that but I want to focus on it on 2021. My next one is to speak kind words to myself and others i'm quite harsh on myself i criticize myself a lot i think i'm pretty good at acknowledging the things i do well but the things i don't do well in i really kick myself for and i don't think that's fun for anyone like i'm sure my boyfriend feels it when i do it to myself so i'm gonna try and speak a little kinder to myself which hopefully in return will just make me a happier and like more confident person i guess and i also want to do the same to others by this i mainly mean like my mum, my sister and my boyfriend who sometimes I'm a little bit harsh with not like calling them names or anything nasty but just sometimes I'm very quick to react and Krishna always says I go from zero to 100 which I think is pretty true I don't know why but sometimes I'm just so snappy which just isn't fair like they so don't deserve it so I just want to try and be a little kinder I think it's working in the sense like I really recognize when I'm doing it so I know I'm aware of it, I just need to now try and reverse it. So that's going to be a very long process, but something that I just want to be more conscious of. My next one is something I'm actually focusing on today. It's to surround myself with things and people I love. Before, I was very quick to make friends quickly, to get things quickly, whether I truly love them or not and today i've actually been doing a huge clean out which will be coming up on the channel soon but i've also been very selective with the friends that i'm taking with me into 2021 which sounds very cutthroat it's really not but i just want to be more mindful of the things around me and the people around me and how that affects me i just want to buy things that make me the person i want to be and don't detract from that and i want people around me who make me feel like the person i want to be and don't detract from that so obviously it's easier said than done it's going to be a very long process it's going to be a learning curve and i'm fiddling with this because i'm nervous but <laughs> i think it will be really good it is a bit of a selfish mentality i guess it's just focusing on me but i think i'm going to feel so much better for it so if that's something you're considering i would highly recommend it just something to consider you don't have to go throw out everything you own get rid of all your friends maybe it's just a slow process but I'm just thinking it's just going to make me a happier person and that one step closer to the person I eventually want to get to. My next one is kind of similar to some of the ones I've said before, but it's to take time to try and experience new things. We all get it. I like my bubble. But whether this is new activities I've never tried before, like I really want to do some tennis this year because me and Christian kept talking about it last year never did it. I bought some clay that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try knitting, like all of these really random things but things I just think I'll really enjoy trying to figure out, trying to learn, maybe I'll get a new skill from it, maybe I'll just have a laugh, maybe there'll be a few failures but at least I'm learning, I'm growing and I'm not just being passive like watching TV and things, I find that I'm very passive and I just want to try and get out there and have those new experiences whether that's trying a new restaurant, whether it's going to a new gallery, whether it is just sitting around messing with some clay, who knows, but I'm really excited to try a lot of new things in 2021. The last thing I did just want to say is because I've got it all written down next to me, is that I actually have written down, I've called them pillars, I don't know what they're called, but I've written down four pillars 
of things that I really wanted to focus on this year and I just thought I'd share it because I thought it'd be useful if you're trying to write your goals and resolutions and don't know where to start maybe pick out four areas of your life or your personality that you want to focus on and grow on and really exaggerate and just have fun with this year so mine were kind loving fun and creative I wanted to be more kind this year to myself to others to strangers I wanted to be more loving this year to myself to my boyfriend to my family <laughs> I wanted to be more fun try new things get out of my comfort zone be a little bit more adventurous and I wanted to be creative with all my clay with all my knitting with all these new experiences and trying new things so they were definitely the four pillars that led into a lot of my resolutions and it's just really easy to remember like if I'm feeling myself snapping at someone or I'm feeling myself watching TV getting numb not doing anything I can just think okay take a step back kind loving fun creative is what I'm doing now meeting any of those four pillars and if it's not maybe I'll switch up try something else but yeah that is all for my 2021 resolutions goals aims whatever you want to call them I had so much fun writing them I really hope they helped you guys maybe you were just nosy and wanted to know what I was going to be getting up to in 2021 or maybe you are sat there trying to write your own goals I hope some of my tips and tricks helped you out and that's maybe some of my goals could be similar to yours who knows if you have liked this video go ahead and hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below because I post new videos every Sunday let me know what one of your 2021 resolutions is down in the comments and hopefully I'll see you very soon bye